So over the years, I have collected a plethora of different objects from Funko Pops, leather bound books, die like the ones, you know, you do a little rolly roll with and win a poker game with, um, knives, you know, wah, 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 wah. but anyway, the one collection that I am most proud of, um, I have to say is my ukulele collection because unlike, um, no, that's a mean joke. Now, as you can see from my uh, my everything on my channel, I do a lot of ukulele covers. I like singing, I like performing, I like acting, I like magicianing. It's magician astronomy. It all started in 2014. We were on a trip to Hawaii, and before this trip, I had been begging my mom to get a ukulele. I had been wanting to play one for ages, and so my mom made a deal with me. She said, while we're there, if you learn how to play the ukulele, and we only stayed there for like two weeks only, that's such a white privilege thing to say. You only stayed in Hawaii for two weeks? Poor you. Huh. What's wrong with me? But anyway, besides that little cringe moment just there, let me continue the story. <sighs> so I made a deal with my mom that if I had learned to play the ukulele by the end of the trip, she would take me to go get a ukulele in the one place where you would totally expect to get high quality ukuleles, Costco. Yes, the Hawaii Costco sells surfboards to ukuleles. It is my dream to live there one day. And my mother said to me, to my face, this is not another collection that you're gonna start. So I looked at her and I said, this is another collection I'm gonna start. And it all went downhill from there. I lost track of what I was gonna say. Okay. So this is Frank. Now Frank is the one who started it all. The whole damn saga of my ukulele addiction. <laughs> it, we bought him at the Costco on Oahu on our last day of our trip to Hawaii. And my mom, when she got it for me, she's like, okay, yeah, sure, you can play. Yeah, sure, okay. So I just did a little, like, you know, that angry playing the whatever it was in the road to El Dorado, it's like. When I first got this ukulele, I only knew four chords at the time. I knew C, G, A minor, and F. Basically the main four chords that everybody learns when first learning to play the ukulele, just because of the wide variety of songs that only those four chords can play. Um, everything from Lady Gaga's Poker Face to, yeah, look up the list, I'm not gonna look it up, I'm too lazy. But besides the point, just knowing those four chords was enough to impress my mother and she got me this ukulele. And it's going on six years now and I gotta say, I am completely impressed with the quality. It is the Kohala brand. Um, it's a soprano ukulele. I cannot remember for the life of me what type of wood it's made out of, but it has always sounded amazing. Um, it's always been super comfortable. The neck is even worn down from where my hands have been over the years. And you can kind of see along the edge right there, it's completely smoothed down compared to the rest of the ukulele because of all the times I've been strumming. But yeah, this is Frank and he's been with me for six years now and I love him and I wouldn't give him away for the world. Now this next ukulele is called The Waterman, and this was actually the ukulele I was playing during a cover of Music of the Night that got mentioned on Broadway.com's vlog. That's my biggest achievement in life. That's, I, 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 I can't top that. I'm just, I should just bury myself now because I'm not gonna get any better than that. I'll link that down below for you to watch. So I had been begging my mother for this new ukulele, which I had seen somewhere online, I can't remember where, but I remember seeing the fact that it was plastic and it was see-through and it's waterproof and weatherproof. You could like bring this to the beach with you and not have to worry about, you know, weather damage. You could take this to the pool with you and still play. So it was really like a neat idea. And then I started playing it for a while and the sound quality is kind of trash. <laughs> I mean, Here's the moment where I sound completely spoiled, but I mean, compared to my $300 ukulele, this is garbage. 
Now don't get me wrong, I love this ukulele and it's a really fun one to play. It's like cute and fun and I like playing it, but it's not really good music quality. It doesn't sound good. It has kind of that plastic like recordery edge to it. That I just, it doesn't sit well with me. But if you're looking for a cheap option, this is typically 50 to 70 bucks online, depending on whether you're in Canada or in the States. I'm pretty sure this was $50. It was a Christmas gift, I'll have to ask my mom. Mom! Okay, she's not home, I forgot. <laughs> Actually, despite all the negative smack talk I've been giving this ukulele for the past couple minutes, I'm sorry. It's actually a pretty good option for your first choice just because it's cheap, it's durable. If you have kids that wanna play and you're worried that they might destroy a really nice expensive ukulele, this is the way to go because it is durable. I'm sorry, I'm just abusing you at this point, okay. So there is a whole range of different sizes of ukuleles ranging from soprano to baritone. Now from soprano to tenor, uh, which is right before the baritone, they sound exactly the same. The tenor has a bit of a deeper, richer sound than either the concert or the soprano, but they use the same chord sheet. You can use the exact same chords from online or in a book for any of those ranges. Now with the baritone, which is this next one that I got, it is a completely different chord system. So this is Patty. You may recognize her because this is the main ukulele that I use in my covers and while performing on stage, just solely based on the fact that I love how this ukulele sounds. So a baritone ukulele consists of the last four strings of the guitar. So technically you do kind of need to know how to play a little bit of guitar in order to play the baritone and vice versa. Um, so I feel like it's in a really, it's Anna really, Anna really, Anna really, bleh. It's a really effective method to transfer over from ukulele to guitar. Just because you learn the same concepts, you learn how to play with a bigger size ukulele, um, the whole shabam. Now just a fair warning, if you are going to get a baritone ukulele, it is up there in price ranges, like really up there. So this patty was worth uh, $550. 50 or 30, I can't remember exactly, but it was up there. It was a spendy thingy. So that's just a fair warning for the price range of a baritone, but I'm sure that there are secondhand websites or you can find kits where you can even build your own ukuleles. There's something I've always wanted to do. New video idea. So yes, the baritone ukulele was definitely up there in the price range, but for the sound quality and how nice it is, just, Everything about it I love. It was totally worth the $500 price tag for me. But that, again, that's just for me. I'm sure you can find ukuleles that sound just as good and cheaper price ranges, and I'm just realizing I might have scammed myself. So the very last ukulele in my collection is by far the coolest, the Rebel. As you can see, it says that on the neck. The neck or the board? I can't remember. I really should remember, but I can't remember, so shut up. Now, just the detail alone on this ukulele is insane. It's got this very sleek polish on it. I love the fact that it says the Rebel. I love it. I love the little carving on the top. I love the little resin tuning keys. I kept the sticker on because it's like those snapbacks you always keep the sticker on, what? But yeah, by far it is one of the coolest things that I own. I love this ukulele. It's uh, great for travel, but I'm too scared to travel anywhere because I'm the biggest klutz in the world and I'm scared I'll break it. Just based on the sound quality alone, I have a comparison here. I brought up Mr. Plastic again that I keep ripping into. I'm so sorry. I will be playing four chords from this and then four chords from the $300 ukulele and uh, see what you think. So here I have the Rebel and I'll be playing the same four chords with this in comparison. This is a scientific study. So 
yeah, you can see which one I like better. <laughs> But yeah, that is so far is my ukulele collection. I will definitely be updating this video in like a couple years or so. But for now, those are the four I own and I love them. And I just want to give a little motivational speech before I let this go. I know you're probably clicking off now. You probably clicked off after minute three. Don't kid me. But just as a PSA, the quality of your instruments does not equal your skill level as a musician. You can be just as good as a ukulele player with a $50 ukulele versus a $300 one. I'm just an ass who likes to show off. Don't take moral advice from me. <laughs> Cause I'm for the D. Cause I'm for the D. You're 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 for the D. You're